I'm going to use a combustion of C2H4 to demonstrate how to balance chemical reactions. In a chemical reaction, the compounds on the left of the arrow, in this case C2H4 and O2, are called the reactants. The compounds on the right, CO2 and H2O, are called products. The subscripts indicate how many of each element is bonded together in that compound. Now the goal of balancing is to make the number of each element on both sides of the reaction arrow equal. In order to balance, you must consider the rules for balancing. You cannot add any new substances. You cannot break open a compound. You cannot change subscripts of a compound. You can only add coefficients or numbers before each compound, and always multiply coefficients and subscripts. Draw a line before each compound. This is where coefficients will be added. Underneath the reaction arrow, draw a vertical line to separate the reactants from the products. The first step is to take an inventory of all the elements on either side. Now a coefficient of 1 is never written, but it is always implied. Remember, always multiply coefficients and subscripts. On the reactant side, there are 1 times 2 equals 2 carbons, 1 times 4 equals 4 hydrogens, and 1 times 2 equals 2 oxygens. On the product side, there are 1 times 1 equals 1 carbon, and 1 times 2 equals 2 hydrogens. Oxygens in two different compounds, there are 2 oxygens from CO2 and 1 oxygen from H2O, giving a total of 3 oxygens on the right-hand side. Step 2 states that you should always balance hydrogen and oxygen last, so let's focus on carbon first. Because there are 2 carbons on the left and 1 on the right, the number of carbons is unbalanced. Step 3 states that the only thing you can do in balancing is to add coefficient before each compound on the line drawn. By placing a 2 before CO2, the number of carbons changes to 2 times 1 equals 2. Coefficients apply to the entire compound, so the 2 before CO2 also changes the number of oxygens to 4, and with 1 oxygen here, this gives a total of 5. The number of hydrogens is also unbalanced. To balance, add a coefficient of 2 in front of H2O, giving 4 hydrogens and a total of 6 oxygens. Now the only element that is left unbalanced is oxygen. By adding a coefficient of 3 before O2, the number of oxygens changes to 6 on the left. On both sides, we now have 2 carbons, 4 hydrogens, and 6 oxygens, meaning our reaction equation is now balanced. Our final step is to rewrite the reaction with the correct coefficients, except the number 1, making sure that the coefficients are whole numbers and the least whole number ratio. For more help with chemistry, subscribe to Chemistry Ninja.